Turbo Kid, wake up! Today is the day! Today is the day! My car is spectacular. Wow! Wow! Wowzer! Turbo Kid, I can't believe we're at the big race! This is so exciting! I can actually feel each beat of my heart! It's like a drum! Bop, 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 bop. I bet you're excited too! Wow! Look around at all these people here to see you race! You have so many fans! I'm sure you're gonna give them a great show today! I think I can actually smell excitement in the air! It's kinda like a coffee aroma! Or espresso! Yeah, an espresso! Hey, you want a coffee? I would be more than happy to run to the concession stand and get us both one! Oh, Turbo Kid, you think you have a chance against me? Well, I have a surprise for you, and it's called Last Place. You and that overly caffeinated rodent will be sorry you ever signed up for this race, because today is the day you will be beaten by the blaster. <laughs> um, hello? Who are you talking to? Oh, um, just thinking out loud. I'm just wondering who it was that you're talking to. So, aren't you a little hot in that room? I'm thinking it's gotta be 85 degrees. Mm, a little. Put it back on. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Race of the Century! Today is all about speed, the race that will finally decide who is the fastest, who is the best. Let's take a look at who will be competing today for the Winner's Cup. First up is today's favorite and returning champion, the fantastic, the great, the stupendous, the... the... From humble beginnings, Turbo Kid began a need for speed at a very early age. If it didn't go fast, it wasn't necessary. As Turbo Kid grew, the challenge became to seek out new modes of transportation. This, however, posed a few problems for the babysitter. The kid was here, then two seconds later over there. I would turn my head for a second and then back to here. Then way over there, only to go there and right back here. Boy gum, boy oh boy, this is gonna be a great race. I've been following Turbo Kid for years. You know, Zippy is in charge of Turbo Kid's pit crew. And Zippy's been taking care of the cars for, uh, for a very long time. He does all sorts of little things, and he's little, so he get underneath there and turn them through and stuff. And, uh, you know, he tunes and fine tunes and super fine tunes and the micro tunes again. And there's a big stock thing that comes down with springs. And there's shockers and rockers and rockers and all sorts of little buttons. And, you know, they get that car going a heck of a lot faster. And, you know, there's brake pads and not to brake shoes. And, you know... Oh my gosh, I found the greatest sale on the cutest pair of shoes. Uh, you know, they were they were heels, but they weren't terribly high, they were like 4-inch high, because you don't want to be super high, because then you don't, you're not taken seriously in the workplace. But they have all sorts of different shoes, you can get a flat, you can get a mule. A mule's a kind of shoe, it's not a, a donkey, it's a actual kind of shoe, they call it a mule, I don't know why. Oh, they have these leather shoes, they have leather, some people don't like wearing leather because they think it's mean to the animals or whatever, but I like to mind wearing leather, they're pretty and I like going to buy shoes. Alright everyone, the race is about to begin. But first, we have a musical treat for you. You know them, you love them, and here they are, right on our stage. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the Cars!
everyone is lined up and ready to go. The flag is waved and are off. And just as I expected, Turbo Kid is in the lead with Blaster in a close second, followed by Winkletron, who's Junior, and the No Peanut Bender, the Scooter, and bringing up the rear is Rocco. Coming up on third place, Moose Jr. is white knuckling. Left turn, left turn, left turn. In this racetrack, everybody loves left turn. At this point, we'll take a look at Turbo Kid statistics. The winner of the Henry 500, the Crankshaft Cup. And the fast crash open at Monte Carlo. Always coming in first place, it's Turbo Kid. I can't believe Turbo Kid's going faster than me. I thought I was the fastest racer here. There. Can you hear me? Carl, get out of my head. You're losing. Drive faster. I'm going as fast as I can. It looks like the blaster is talking to somebody, but we can't tell who. Maybe traveling at these speeds is creating a lot of problems, and the blaster is losing his marble. Turbo Kid's pit boss, Zippy, has maintained the kids' vehicles going back to the very beginning. Zippy has always been a sought-after brainiac for his mad desire for speed and everything that goes fast. That brings us down to the Blaster, who clipped his way through the Bush League and arrived on the circuit, establishing himself as a top winner, taking in first place in almost every race. That is until Turbo Kid came along behind him. Oh, that was a ghost one. Wow, look at that! This race reminds me of some of the great races I was privileged to announce when Turbo Kid was just an up-and-comer. It was just a short while ago when TK, I call TK TK because we've known each other for quite some time now. Well, anyway, it was before TK had a driver's license. It was the skateboarding day. We just saw the next to last competitor, that Blaster Kid. He's pretty sharp at his skateboard tricks, and he only slipped up and stumbled once. I don't think that that will hold him back from winning this national skateboard competition. We have only one competitor left. It's a newcomer to us by the name of Turbo Kid. Well, let's see how this Turbo Kid character does on this highly vamped up indoor skate park. Wow! This is unbelievable! It's unheard of! Turbo Kid is tearing up this park like it was just a playground! Down the half pipe! Up the ramp! Grind down to the rail! Turbo Kid speeds up and bam! Up the quarter pipe! Grind for it, Then wow! Perfectly balanced grind across the entire long bar! Turbo Kid eats up the curb without breaking a sweat! Turbo Kid is picking up a lot of speed! I wonder what to expect- oh, Holy cow! An unbelievable feat! A complete flip off the wooden ramp! Another grind on the wood beam, Turbo Kid again is picking up speed and a giant leap over the park bench! Turbo Kid is all over the park, making it look so easy! Wow! A lift kick off the wall and a full vertical leap! And zoom right back to the top of the half pipe! That was the most amazing set ever to be accomplished! I'm sure that this newcomer is a certain winner of the National Skateboard Competition! What? What's this? Turbo Kid wants to do a quick half-pipe routine, even though, as the winner, there's no need to do anymore! Alright, down to the half-pipe, the start, TK is gliding like his ice! Whoa! Up over eight feet above the landing, and aboard Grab the Moot! That was stupendous! Let's see the leap once again in slow motion! We're 
see much more of Turbo Kid. An absolute standout performance taking first place away from what's his name. This was history in the making. Turbo Kid is still holding on to first place, and the Blaster is trying his darnest to get around the Kid. I would be very surprised if the Blaster can keep up that pace that Turbo Kid is setting. Oh, that was a ghost one. And Scooter's coming up working the wall. He's trying to find an opening to break on through. this race and it's been a stellar performance by all the drivers. We've had not one accident and all the original cars are still circling the track at smooth top speeds. Blaster. It's time to unleash the power of your fully operational race car. Stop talking. I have to make this turn. If you do not turn, you will be destroyed. You know, you're a little melodramatic, aren't you? And all the fuss about the cars. I mean, they're nice, uh, but they're loud, and I can't see the pretty colors in writing because they're going so fast. Couldn't we have gone to the opera instead? I mean, it's very hot here. Isn't it hot? I'm very hot. Yeah, yeah, Fuzzy Pants, we get it. It's hot. We're all hot. You know what else is hot? The surface of the sun. And if you stand there, you go, it's hot, my feet are burning. You know what else can be hot? Coffee. You get a cup of coffee and it's spilled in your lap. You go, ah, I'm burning, I'm burning. And then you see the hamburger store. You know what else is hot? The cheese on your nachos. Now eat them and stop talking. Like we've got some celebrities in the stands today. All the way from Hollywood, Florida, it's Lenny the Christmas Elf and the Penguin. Straight off the set of Sentimental Journey's newest video, My Christmas Adventure. <laughs> one of the more bumpy times when I was announcing the Great Desert ATV race. It certainly was a rough and tumble time with the dirt paths and the sand dunes. I think it was Turbo Kid's first real race on a motorized vehicle. Turbo Kid had just passed the driver's test and was ready to show everyone how to domesticate and break a wild ATV into submission. like everyone is lined up and ready to start here the Great Desert ATV race. The engines are revving and the starting flag has dropped. Turbo Kid gets the whole shot is in the lead going into the city. Biggest turn, kicking up a lot of dirt. <laughs> Turbo gets in the lead with everyone trying their hardest to get up and around this fantabulous athlete. They come out of Warren Hall and Turbo Kid has kept the lead. The city part is 
just about done as they exit on to the moon. Turbicon is keeping them all at bay. The whoop de doos are one of the harder places to have any speed whatsoever, but TK makes it look like child play. They're coming down the field and toward the finish line. Turbocan will take the checkered flag with over three lengths the closest competitor. Turbocan has taken the number one spot in the ATV World of Racing. That surely was one dirty, muddy, bumpy time. The total opposite of this smooth, silky track that our drivers are competing on today. Turbocan is pulling out all the stops and has the pedal to the metal with top speed surpassing anything ever clocked at this track. I can't believe Turbo Kid is winning! You know, I can't believe that I'm losing to Turbo Kid! This race is about to wrap up! Turbo Kid has kept the lead from the get-go. The race has had its moments when Blaster tried to pass, but TK shut him right down. And when Scooter tried to pit stop, and rather than grabbing and just going, he kept complaining that there was no mustard on his hot dog. Blaster, it's time to execute Order 65. Well, uh, what's Order 65? when you take out the other racers. What, you mean like to dinner in a movie? No, it's when you take them out and get them out of the race, jeez, man. Oh, oh, yes, of course, of course. There's something wrong with him. You know, it's just not right. Turbo Kid, come in, Turbo Kid. This is Zippy and I thought you should know that the blaster is up to something. I think he and his pit crew are going to cheat somehow. Be careful out there on the track, and as soon as I know anything, I will let you know. Zippy over and out. miles per hour, 171, 172, 172.3, 174, 174.5, 174.6 miles per hour. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the closest races. Last, push the red button. What? The red button. Push it. Push the red button. But they're all red buttons. Just push the red button. Look at that. For the first time, I'm going to win the race. Vertical launch initiated. Run button! Oh my. Get 
something that you don't see every day. You've got to be kidding me. And Turbo Kid has won! Turbo Kid's crossed the finish line! Coming in first place, which comes as no surprise to this announcer. Rockle comes in second, and Winkletron sparkles into third. Pulling up the roster, it's no peanuts bender. Andy Moose Jr., and in last place, it's the Blaster. Better luck next time, Blaster. You might want to look into getting a faster fit crew, like Turbo Kids Zippy. Well, thanks for coming. It's been a super time, and we hope to see you next year, here at the Big Race.